everyone magic flying potato here and we're gonna go ahead and explore the porch area i'm gonna go up the bike and then start from the right side of the porch work my way to the left and then i'm gonna show you the three zones below the deck so there's technically four zones on the deck so as we head up this bike we're gonna go ahead and unlock one of the discovery zones so right here you discover the sam squanch dirt bike we're gonna continue heading up the bar of this bike now I'm going to take you to the other side, to the right side of the deck, where we're going to go up the baseball bat and explore the upper section before we come back down to the actual deck itself. So as of right now, you have to go outside the construction zone in order to get up to this portion of the baseball bat. This will be changed in the future when they do uh, finally complete this section of the yard. But you have to go around outside unless you build a ramp up here. And now we're going to go head up the baseball bat. And somewhere around on this baseball bat, you are supposed to get the discover the uh, baseball bat zone. So right here, you get discovered the Chunky Chubbs Bomber baseball bat. You may have to run up and down a couple of times to get it in order for it to unlock. Uh, so once we get up on top of this chair, we're going to go to the back side because there is some science points back here. So as we come up here, you want to make sure you bring a... A very good dandelion tuft before you do all this stuff because we're going to do a lot of jumping and floating. So I'm going to jump and float down to this section of the chair right here. So there's 500 raw science right there. Now I'm going to come back around and try to get back onto the other side of the chair. This is a tricky jump right here. So it's kind of a jump, a float type uh, jump that you got to make. And as you can see, there are some things down here. There's a bunch of ants that you can farm if you carry a bow with you. And you can just snipe them from a distance. There is a spicy piece of candy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to this hammer right here. And head up here. So what I'm going to do, try now, is I'm going to make a run, jump, and float across to this table right here. You can do it from this area as well if you like. Alright, so we made it across. Now we're going to go ahead and explore this upper area right here. If you go into the ashtray right here, I know it's kind of gross because there's a bunch of uh, big old corn chip toenails in there. But you do have the dirty ashtray discovery. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else up here. You have the big old bracelet, so you get a better look at what it is. All right, so right here, you can see that there is a science point up on this handlebar. So we're going to make a jump and float down to the handlebar. And then jump up across and grab that. That's worth 500 science points. And also, you got some gum up here, so if you do have a shovel equipped, go ahead and... The ant shovel. So as you can see, the gum does fall to the, uh, the deck, but we're going to go ahead and head down anyways. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the seat over here. Avoid the black ant. Jump up on the seat run across it. we're going to head over to this light right here jump up on that come around here is another 500 raw science points for you back down to the bike seat now this is as i was saying before this this bike up on this bike area is also another good area to uh farm the ants because they can't get to you from up here so it's it's a, it's a safe bet if you have a uh, if you have your bow any type of bow equipped just go ahead and um, snipe them from far and farm those ant parts. So as we come over to the cup right here, you can see that there are three mints in here. So go ahead and grab those while you're up here. So 
as you can see i got 12 of them all right the next zone we are gonna head over to is where the dust mites are at in the lint now everybody has their own ways of trying to fight these guys my my preferred way is i like to uh, snipe from a distance using a bow using my crossbow so as of right now i am wearing my archers my marksman's hat and uh two pieces of b armor as well as i've got my sharpshooter stat on and my coup de grace for that extra uh, extra critical hit chance bonus now some people do like trying to get up on here to snipe them from up here you could do that if you want uh you could actually jump down from the table onto this ledge right here and there's a lot of them up here so my suggestion is go ahead and just shoot them and pull them out So as you can see, that is super easy to do. You, you barely take any damage. Uh, I took a little bit from them hitting me with uh, some of their uh, their attacks, but other than that, again, this is why I like to use my uh, crossbow on a lot of these type of bugs is because of that reason right there. I like I like taking things out from a distance. That's my style of fighting. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this lint. So you're going to need your tier 3 termite axe. Alright, so once you cleared this mat right here of the dust mites in the lint, I'm going to go ahead and now head up to this plant right here. And <laughs> there is a parade of black ants going on. So I'm going to jump up on these hedge clippers right here. And we are going to... There is a... Raw science point up there, so we're going to go ahead and go up there and get that. But first, come down here and just pick up uh, these loose, spiky burrs that are laying in the bottom of this flower pot. All right, so now I'm going to attempt to get up there. I am horrible at doing this, so... All right, so right there is 500 more raw science points. Okay, so I'm going to make an attempt to run and jump and float down to that ledge right there because I want to get to this flower pot right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, so we'll see. All right, so you are able to make that jump if you hit your dandelion tuft as soon as you make that jump and float over to this ledge right here. Now I'm going to head over to this flower pot in the middle because as you saw, there is a gold milk molar in here. So just drop down into this. And we'll go ahead and get this milk molar. Okay, so now I'm going to head over to this planter right here. Okay, I'm going to run and jump and attempt to get this one now. Okay, so that took four attempts to do. Um, you definitely have to time your run and jump right to get this one. If I wasn't going to make it on this jump, I would have gone back to the plant over there. That plant, the big one over there, and landed on here and came across if I wasn't able to make this jump. But as we come around, here is another 500 raw science. Now I'm just going to drop down into this zone down here with all the ants. <laughs> so once you clear out all the ants, come up here and... So really, there's nothing up here except for the hot dog. Come over to the zones with the jacks. Well, I don't think there's anything over here significant as well. All right, so once we're done with this zone, we're going to jump down in between the porch right here. I'm going to find where the area of... Okay, so right here, I'm going to land on top of this fertilizer bag. So this is the first zone underneath the... The porch and as you can see there is the green stink bug and I discovered the buster cap gun and once you machine gun kill him go ahead and jump down here and grab the parts this is where you get the super stink sack is off of him and if you're lucky, you will also find a, a green scarab under here, occasionally running around. This is one of the spawn areas of the green scarabs. All right, so if you don't want to wait for the green scarab, go ahead and just run up this piece of branch right here. Come to the 
left side of this, this is where I usually exit out of. And we're going to head over to the next zone that is underneath the porch. So as we jump down here. So as you can see here, here are the new ladybird ladybugs. You have the pupae or depends on where you're from. Pupae or pupees. Uh, that's what these are up here. Those are the little larva sacks. And you can just go ahead and shoot them down with your crossbow or bow. Or throw something at them or... However you want to get get them down, uh, but they have to be. Now these ladybirds hit very hard, so you got to be careful of them. They hit harder than the regular ladybugs, and they like to throw your arrows around. Again, going with the archer build on this one. And to actually get these, not only do you have to shoot them down, but you have to use your tier 3 axe. To cut them up okay and then i'm gonna move over to the third zone that's underneath the porch which is now the infected zone so under here you'll find infected larva and the second there's the second infected wolf spider that has been introduced into the game into this zone underneath the porch so this is under the right side of the porch And other than that, there is really nothing else underneath these areas over here. As of right now. Not sure if they're going to plan on doing anything with these zones later on. So that's the four zones that are in the shed porch area. You got the main zone on top and then the three small biomes underneath. Hopefully this video helps. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And if I forgot anything or missed something, go ahead and leave a comment below as well. That'd be highly appreciated and help other people watching the video. And as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyards. And I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot.